you're getting set here for a live boxing, kickboxing, cardio training session. You can follow along live if, if you have a heavy bag. Great. Well, listen, first of all, it shouldn't be if at this point. You should have a heavy bag at home. You could have gyms and you could have stuff that you go to, but you should have at this point a home gym. Enough stuff at home that you can do all kinds of different workouts with. It's not that hard. First of all, you just need a little bit of space. But you should have a couple dumbbells, a couple medicine balls, a couple bands. You want to go crazy, get some medicine balls and a, a TRX or something. But every home in America should have guns and should have a heavy bag. That's just the way it is. You should have a heavy bag to be able to punch, to get some aggression out, to have some fun, to do some shit with your, with your kids and, and get exercise at the same time, get some punches in, some aggression out. Fucking awesome workout on top of that. So if you have a heavy bag, which you should, if you don't, go and get one. They're not that, that fucking expensive. Everyone should have a heavy bag, where it's hanging on a rack like the one over here, if you can see on any of these cameras, or these stand-up ones, which are a little more expensive, but whatever. Everyone should have a heavy bag at home to have some shit to punch. If not, you could do this whole entire workout just in the air. You're going to still sweat like freaking crazy. If you have to, you can hold some light little dumbbells to make it even more challenging. One pound, two pound, three pounds. That'll be more than enough. Do what you got to do. Work through it. Follow along and sweat your fucking ass off. Push forward hard. Maximum effort with a positive fucking attitude. You're going to get a, a great workout. It's about 100 and something degrees out here, but I'm still wearing this windbreaker because it just came in the mail literally while we're setting up for this recording. This just showed up in the mail from Noah Valinsky, one of the project graduates, sent this out to me. You are fucking awesome. Check this out. MDK on the front. Project logo on the back. I may die and sweat out and, and pass the fuck out wearing this in this heat, but I'm at least going to wear it for the warm up until I get warmed up and then we're going to go out from there. So listen up. Today's going to have different punch combinations. Every punch combination, whatever the last punch is, so whatever side, and these, these Facebookers and, and Instagrams and all this other tweeter trots have the backwards camera, but this is my left hand, this is my right hand. So if my, if my combo finishes with a left, I'm going to add any type of right side leg strike. It could be a front kick, it could be a roundhouse kick, or it could be a knee. I don't care which one comes, because depending on what type of punch it is, you might be in a different position as long as you're throwing a opposite side leg strike. So my combo is a one, two, one, two. This is my right hand. I'm just gonna bam, add in a left side leg strike. Gonna start off real simple with just single punches. So we can get to the flow, we're gonna do it all in the air. Even if you have a bag, we're gonna start in the air just to get this shit down to warm up. Before we even add in the, the, the kicks, we're gonna just go with our basic punches. Get your stance. If you're, if you're right-handed, your left leg is forward, and left leg is forward and to the left, your back leg is back and to the right. Your right leg is back, your back leg is back and to the right. Make sure your back leg is back. Your right leg is back and to the freaking right. Hands up, elbows tucked in, hands up your cheekbone, protecting your ugly mug. You're one, you're on the bouncing on the balls of your feet and you choose your one is your straight left, snap, and right back in. Snap, a little flow though, a little bounce, a little rhythm. Get a little movement with your feet, with your body, a little, little rhythm. One is your straight left. Snap it in there. So while I'm throwing that, my right hand is staying glued up to my chin, right here. Snap it out there. Two is my straight right, boom. I'm turning, pivoting this right foot, whipping this right hip. Straight out there while the left hand stays up. Two is a straight right. Let's go through the basics. Two is straight right. Right down the middle. Three is my left hook. My elbow's bent 90 degrees. We're parallel to the floor. Right hand still stays glued to the chin. Left hip whips. Left foot pivots. Three is my left hook. Turn into it. Hands up. So three is my left hook, that means four is gonna be my right hook. Whip it, bang it, bash it, power. Let's get the blood flowing. Get the body loosened up, move around a little bit so your legs get loose up. You've been doing a lot of kicks today. We need those legs loose. Right hook, snap, boom. Bounce around, little flow. Hands up, hands up. And five is our left uppercut. Straights, we're in this plane right here. Hooks are right here. Uppercuts are right here. Here, here's my uppercut. You have to call for that? You let it hit your own gloves, it's your own chin. Here's the uppercut. Let's go. Five left uppercut. Boom. Crunch. Full strength punch. Right hand stays up. 
Midge, you could do job. Bob, you want to join us? Oh, okay. Gotcha. And six, right uppercut. We're flying through his basic punches if you need to. Take extra time, practice them. You can never get too much practice in these basic punches. It's just going to make you better, stronger, more powerful. I don't even need that just in case I forget something. I have a whole thing in my head. Snap it. All right, shake those out. Let's stretch those shoulders. Fling it, stretch it and catch it. Fling it, stretch it and catch it. Fling, stretch, catch. Right there, let's get the shoulders loose. Forward shoulder circles. Three forward shoulder circles, three backward shoulder circles. Forward for three, backward for three. All right, wide stance to the feet. Get that stretch to the bottom. Fling the chest open. Stretch to the bottom, reach up. Stretch bottom, reach out. Stretch bottom, reach up. Stretch your glutes, your hips. Open it up. All right, so we're gonna still be in the air practicing these off. So we're gonna start with single punches. So if I throw a left, we're going out into the rule of adding in the leg kick. Adding in the opposite side leg strike, whether it's a front kick, a roundhouse, or a knee. So if I throw a left, straight left by one, and that's the only combo, right kick. Bounce in the air here, I'm just doing a front kick. But it could be, it could be a stepping knee. If I was on a heavy bag, it could be a roundhouse. For now, just loosening up, just getting those hips and hamstrings going. So to keep those front kicks in the air. All right, two, straight right. You can switch step, left kick, or you can go straight right, left knee. You can go straight right, step, left knee. You can go straight right, left roundhouse. As long as it's an opposite side lower body strike, all the fucking matters. And reset, hands up. Straight right, boom, and kick. And you can even mix it up. So one time I could do front kick. The next straight right, I could do roundhouse. The next straight right, I could do knee. Next one I could do a switch step kick. Next one I can do switch step knee. Because I could also throw that straight right, boom, and drive the knee right in as a lead leg. All right, let's go three. Okay. Left hook, right knee. Left hook, right kick. So the combo is ending on the left. So it's opposite side, lower body, boom, strike. All right, let's go right hook. Left kick. Right hook, left knee. Four, left kick. Four. All right, let's go right into the five, left uppercut. This is going to be close range, so most likely with the uppercuts, you're mostly going to be doing knees after it, but you might end up at an angle where the kick feels right, you're just going to go with it, whatever fucking feels right. Boom, boom. Or maybe my uppercut, come here. Maybe my uppercut knocks him away, or he backs away from my uppercut. He backs away, boom, so I'm going to follow up with a kick. Or a knee, and another kick. And another kick. All right, five, five, kick, five, knee. All right, six, right uppercut, left knee, six, left kick. All right, so we're gonna go with those single rounds now. A little longer of, a, of a each one. And actually on the back, so we're going to start with that one, that straight left, followed by a right side leg strike. Stretch those quads, now they're nice and warmed up, loosened up, flow is flowing, we get even more stretch. Stretch those quads out, and ready to roll. Stretch quads, stretch hamstrings. All right, let's do it. We're going to repeat all those single one punch combos, not a combo, single punches with the opposite side kick. Nice and smooth to get started. So we're here, so one, right kick. Or one, right knee, to side. We'll round between, flow, rhythm, get to work. 
that leg in there, but staying the hips up still. That blows. When you snap, think of it like the left. The left is the one, and the kick is the two. So just blow. Maybe I want to stay at range. Go with a front kick. Maybe after my jab, I'm going to step, lean in for a right knee. Mix it up. Mix in roundhouse kick with the right, front kick with the right, and knee with the right. Stop both things, Tyson. Again. Go. Again. single strike. Straight right, that's your two. I gotta take this fucking jacket off soon. I'm gonna get smoked out. Took. That one's gonna be a little weird and hard getting the, the the front kick in, but if you could squeeze it in somehow, the angle maybe the angle that you're on it works. Whatever your bag is swinging, maybe it works. Maybe you have a swinging bag, you can flow with it. Three left hook. Right knee is gonna be the easy one, or left hook, right low kick is gonna flow pretty good. Swinging bag, good. Now it's dip back. And time. I'm going to right hook. I got to work on my tan, and I got to. 
from my head. Go, right hook, start, go. Right hook, let your four, and left kick, left leg strike. I'm gonna put a hat on for this. Look at that badass fucking hat from a truck stop in Texas. Texas. Round, go round. Keep the left long. Probably just gonna be with a left knee, a right knee. Unless you have a swinging back, like this back over here, the regular camera you can see. Maybe you can swing, I can actually kick it. Put it your bags. We're not swinging. And like this could be just a knee, probably. So left upper, right knee. You might be able to, if you're at a distance, a little extension on the upper kind of short, choppy leg kick. If you wanna mix it up, there's really nothing on that. Better off with a knee. Right knee.
Shake it. Okay. Stretch it. Yeah. Hydrate it. And we're going to go into some two punch combos coming up. Where it's the same game. We're just building on that. Two punches. Whatever the last strike is. Whatever side the combo finishes on. That's going to be opposite side leg strike. All right, so we're gonna go two punch combos. Lots of movement and shifting of your hips and your waist. Oblique slats, stretch those hip flexors out. Just to remain distance. Roots, roots, hips, different angles. Stretch it. Get it ready for continued striking, twisting with the freaking hips. Working the motherfucking hips. But it's constant. We're constantly shifting from side to side. You need to have control of your body, control of your balance, control of your breathing, control of your fucking core. Otherwise, you are going to be all over the place. All right, so we're going to go two punch combo. We're going to start simple. Just with a one two, which means we're adding in a left side leg strike, whether it's a front kick. The roundhouse doesn't matter. One, two, two, one. One, two, two, one. One, two. Sorry, I lied. First combo is a one, one, a double jab. Double jab. So it's one, one, and a right side. Okay. Roundhouse flows perfect here. If you want to, you can oh, step in for the knee. Or if you have a long ass, odd shaped body, you can do that at the end. You still get the front kick. Like this, right? Lay on your feet. the ground. So from a range, he was here. I'm here. I'm thinking back along with this. One, one, bam, front kick. This is the motion. Look. Front kick will work. One is right there. Push kick, front kick. A stiff bag and more roundhouse. The dynamic target, front kick is going to drive. It's going to be like pop. pop. Boom! Fucking Sparta kick their ass. Let's go. It's a fish. Get to step in for the knee also. There you go. Double jab. Nice. Pivot. Pivot. Double jab. Pop. It's all the way back. Pop. Mix it up. Try the front kick. Try the round. House. Try the knee. strike. Left kick, left front kick, left roundhouse, left knee. That's your fresh ball. You don't put a hat on soon. You got a fresh ball. You don't have to touch it. You don't put a hat on soon. Over and out of the mouth. That's the ACI's head here. It's turned into a fucking cherry tomato. Just kick, then I could just kick. 
that kick in there. Then I'll do it's not going to be the same as if I get a switch step with more power. But the switch step, even though it's fast as fuck, it can be light and fast. It's still going to take more time. So try it both ways. Try the roundhouse with the switch step. Try the roundhouse without the switch step. Try it with the front kick and with the knee. One, two. One, two. It's okay, it's making me really strong. One, two. Do what you have to do. When it comes to the kick, just. Doesn't feel okay. Whatever, you pop. What you gotta do? Ground, bounce. One, two. Opposite side, leg strike. Going with the two three. Twenty seven. Right? Two three coming up. Do a shuffle and this. So that's straight right, left hook, which means the lower body strikes on the right side. After the three, which is a close left hook, it's going to be mostly knees, but you can get a low kick in there, and then a low kick. Do it. Two, three. So straight right. Left two. Yes. Your bag is heavier than mine. I forgot I put it on that side. That's my bag. Good job. I'm just using the really hot. Good job. Let's go. Thank two, you. three, right kick. Two, three, right knee. Yeah, just stand there and watch. It's gonna get you good. Out for the bleachers. In the roundhouse, probably have to do the low chopping leg kick. The knee's gonna uh, drive in. No need for a switch step because this leg is already back there. Boom, boom, boom. Like a, another punch, like a combination. Slow down, make sure you got it. Straight right, left hook, and then a right lower body strike. Whether it's a kick or a knee. Three, four. 
Three, four, left hook, right hook. Three, four. Probably gonna be a lot of left knees in here. Feeling like you got the angle, go for a left, low, leg kick, roundhouse kick. Three, four, uh, drive it. Okay, go down slowly. With a switch step, sometimes without a switch step. Turn, turn. Step, do it without a switch step. Try it both ways. Of course, doing switch step's gonna be harder, but take more time. Or check this out. If you grab after that, you clinch. We're in close. Oh yeah. So all I did is once I'm holding it here, or even if I just got you both hands inside, you don't need as much. So I have to do 3-4, grab the bag, maybe. Three, four, oh. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So left hook, right hook, left knee. You can try a left, right, low round out. Yeah, we did one, two, two, three, three, four. No fucking shit. Next one's gonna be four, five. Four is right hook. Five is left upper. Boom. Right side, left strike. Go right to it. Don't break it over your ass. Right there, you could do it without holding on. Oh, you could pop. But shit, you could. Every time you hold, it's gonna be double impact. At least, because you're not letting it move back. If you hit something, it flings back and takes a force off. So like when you head, if you're laying on your back, get your head off the ground. So maybe you won't hit the ground. If there's nowhere to go, it's just like, boom, double in back. Four, five. Four is right hook. Five is left upper. Driving that right knee. You feel like you can? Get a short leg kick. Probably not going to work, but just give it a shot. Round the screen. right upper bang them in there come up under the chin into the gut if you're fighting Shaq you're using his nuts as a fucking speed bag the doing the doing the doing right there let's do it five six and then left side strike the legs Every single 
between, move around. Fine. All right, let's end that round. Shake it. Stretch it. This next round gets some hydration. This next round is going to be a progressive combo. Still, whichever punch we end the combo off on, you do the opposite side leg strike. So it's going to be alternating. Each combo is going to kick with the right, next one kick with the left, next one kick with the right, next one kick with the left. Get ready. Get ready, to be A lot easier than it sounds. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. But it's a progressive combo, meaning we're gonna be doing one, then one, two, then one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, then back to one. But for each one of those progressive combos, you gotta add the lower body strike in. So that means it'll be one, right kick. Two or one two, left kick. One two three, right kick. One two three four, left kick. One two three four five, right kick. One two three four five six, left kick. Back to the beginning with a one, right kick, and you progressively build from one to one two three four five six. What's up, Hoover Duber? Thanks for joining us. Yes. Freaks are all here training. The other two freaks are behind us doing similar stuff with the mitts, getting it in here under the blazing sun, in the middle of the day. Let me tell you, if you, you don't even know what time it is here, I think we started this workout at 2 o'clock. No, not 2 o'clock. We started this at 11 Pacific, 11 30, some shit like that. I don't even know. Maybe 11 30 or 12 Pacific time, right in the middle of the day. And it's a work day. But you know what? That's why I get up at 4 a.m. So I can get all the shit I need to get done so I can create my own agenda. So I'm in control of my agenda. I'm in control of my calendar. I'm in control of my time. I'm in control of my motherfucking energy. Because when I'm in control of my energy, I'm in control of my life. And when I'm in control of my life, I have my peak freak freedom. And that's what I need. Your freak freedom. So you can have, and what it takes to get there is your self-discipline. And that self-discipline lets you have self-expression. This is what fucking life is all about. Being able to work out in the middle of the sun. It's the last week, last, last week before these kids go back to school. So we want to get as many training sessions as we can in together here in the middle of the day. Because when they come back from school, it's going to have to be later in the day when they come. So the schedule's change. We're going to make the motherfucking most of it right now. All right, let's do it. Progressive round. One, two, three, four, five, six is the combo. We're doing a progressive, still adding in the kick. I'll go through slow on this first round, and you just go through on your own pace. Let's do it. So it's a one, and a right kick, reset. One, two, left kick, reset. One, two, three, right kick, reset. One, two, three, four, left kick, reset. One, two, three, four, five, right kick, reset. One, two, three, four, five, six, left kick, reset back to the top with the one, right kick. Go at your own speed, go as slow as you need to, as fast as you can. You don't gotta keep up my fucking slow ass. Go full speed, all motherfucking out. Yeah. Go all in, all out, all the fucking time. Yeah. That wasn't very convincing. Yeah, yeah, yippee. Yeah. That's it. I know how to wake up. Let's actually do these combos. Can I finish with you guys? Daddy. So we're on. One. Right kick. You're gonna do we could do the mitts. We'll do the mitts at the end. Yeah, come on. Jump in. Jump on the back. One, right kick. One, two, left kick. Get another little freak to join us on the other side of his back. One, two, three, right kick. One, two, three, four, left kick. One, two, three, four, five, right kick. Left kick. Watch it. Watch it there, you little barefoot ninja. Barefoot midget ninja. Two, left kick. One, two, three, right kick. One, two, three, oh, left. One, two, three, 
Go on, Tate. Stretch it out. That's going to be it for the kicks for the day. We're going to go and just do some freestyles to burn out. We're going to cut the camera here before these things overheat. But you just saw, even if you were just in the air doing all this non-stop punching and getting those legs up, you're working your freaking mind, you're working your balance, you're working your cardio, your core, your upper, your lower. We're, I'm freaking soaked, dripping sweat out here in the beautiful freaking sun. So you don't need a lot of space, you don't need a lot of equipment. You just need not to have a lot of motherfucking excuses. And not to have any of bad fucking negative attitude, vibes, or energy, or anything in your existence that even will slow you down a fucking drop. That's the way you need to be approaching every day, the way you're putting in your energy and your emotion, and your positivity, injecting it into the fucking world, into the fucking universe, without any expectation of any shit being returned to you. That's a problem. Someone, if you see someone, a car broken down the side of the road, there's motherfuckers out there that will pull over to help that person out on the side of the road. When they see the person, the first thought that comes ahead is, I'm going to go help this person because then something good's going to happen to me. That's just a, you're, you're helping someone out, sure, great job, good for you. But that's the thought that you have so that the universe will send you something back in return. You fucked up the game and you are not winning at this fucking game. It's I'm going to go help out that person because it's the right motherfucking thing to do. That's the type of energy that you need to be putting out into the world. That one-sided, that fucking coming with a giving fucking hand to the universe, to strangers, to your people. That's what you need to be thinking with expecting fucking nothing in return. Well, you might get something in return. Might you get 10 times back in return someday? Maybe, maybe not. Either way, cool, cool with me. We're gonna make it fucking happen. All right, so if you have any questions, comments on this workout, on any workout, on your fitness, on your training, on your mindset, on any of the programs you do, on the project, the men's personal development program that we hold out here in, in California. We have the October class is already a couple months away, which is already almost sold out. Need any help with your mind, the body, the business, with the family, the fitness, the finance, the faith, which are the pillars of the project. Send a private message, let's jump on the phone and see if you're a good fit to join the ranks of the modern day knights in the project. I will talk to you soon. In case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses.